This is part 8 of ASP.NET Web API tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss implementing delete method in ASP.NET Web API. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Within our employees controller, let's include our delete method. The method is going to be public. Return type is void. Let's name the method delete. To delete an employee, we will have to pass the ID of the employee that we want to delete. And first, let's create an instance of our employee DB context. Employee DB entities, let's name it entities equals new employee DB entities. Entities dot employees dot remove. And we have to specify the entity that we want to remove. So entities dot employees dot first or default where employee employee dot id equals the id that we are passing to the delete method so this lambda is going to return an employee that we want to delete and it removes from the employees collection let's finally save the changes let's build our solution build succeeded there are two problems with this delete code let's look at those two problems first so let's flip to fiddler at the moment we've got seven employee records within our employees table we want to delete this employee with the id equal seven so in fiddler let's change the http verb to delete we want to delete employee with id seven let's execute this request request completed now let's go back to sql server execute the select statement notice the employee with id equal 7 is deleted now if you look at the response that we have got notice the status code within the response header 204 no content that's because the return type of our delete method is void now when the deletion is successful we should ideally be returning status code 200 ok and not 204 no content that's our first problem the second problem is this when we try to delete you know this employee again so obviously we don't have employee with id equal 7 so when we try to delete an employee whose id does not exist notice we get an exception so if you look at the response status code it is 500 internal server error so basically it's saying there is an internal server error and we are getting this status code because of an exception and this is the piece of code that is throwing that exception. So this lambda right here is trying to find an employee with ID equal 7, which obviously we don't have. So this lambda is going to return null, which is then passed to the remove method. And remove method is throwing an exception. And if you want to know the exception that is being thrown, click on the JSON tab here. Notice the exception type is system.argumentNull exception. Value cannot be null is the exception message. And as a result of this exception, we are getting this status code 500 internal server error. When an item that we want to delete is not found, we should be returning status code 404 not found and not 500 internal server error. So let's see how to solve these two problems. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Now the first thing that I'm going to ch do here is change the return type from void to HTTP response message and then let's take this lambda expression right here and then use a variable let's call this entity equals whatever the lambda returns if entity equals null so what does this mean this means the employee object that we want to delete is not found so in that case we want to return status code 404 so return request dot create error response the HTTP status code is going to be not found and let's also return a message employee with ID equals whatever is the ID of the employee ID dot to string and then to that let's append not found to delete so that's the status code and that's the message 
On the other hand, if entity is not null, then we have found the employee with a specified ID and we want to go ahead and delete that employee. So let's move these two lines of code inside of our else block and we want to remove this entity that we have found. So let's pass that to the remove method save changes and finally we want to return status code OK. So return request.create response HTTP status code dot OK. Let's wrap all of this code inside a try block. If there is any problem executing the code that we have got in the try block, an exception will be raised. We want to catch the exception and then return request dot create response create error response HTTP status code dot bad request and the exception itself. All right. So let's build our solution. Build succeeded. Now let's flip to Fiddler and issue a delete request. Let's try to delete employee with the ID equals 6. We do have employee with ID equals 6. Let's go ahead and execute this delete. The delete request completed. Now let's quickly check the DB. Notice employee with ID equals 6 is deleted. And if you look at the response that we've got, notice the response status code is 200 OK. This is much better than response code 204 no content. So basically this is saying the deletion is successful. Now let's see what's going to happen if we try to delete the same employee again. We don't have this employee with ID equals 6 anymore in the database. So let's see what's going to happen when we execute this. Notice now we are getting status code 404 not found. And if you look at the message that we are getting, employee with ID equals 6, not found to delete, which is more meaningful than returning status code 500 internal server error. Here is the delete method code. Thank you for listening and have a great day.